So welcome to this lab, Google Kubernetes Engine Pipeline using Cloud Build. So first we will open the Cloud Shell. Click continue. Uh, open it in a big screen. Click continue. <coughs> Authorize. Okay, first of all we will have to set up the project ID. Yes, enter that. And also we need to set up some variable that is done. And next we will need to enable the API services for the GKE Cloud Build Secret Manager Artifact Registry. And next we will create a docker. Yeah, it's done. So next one we will create a container. This will take some time. Um, I will pause and come back. So meanwhile, you can also go to the GKE cluster, and then you will find, uh, you will see that it's a Hello Cloud build. Take a look. It's done. Okay, now I go back to the Cloud Shell command. The next thing after the container is we will need to configure the GitHub. Let's connect. Yes, enter. Yes, enter again. Now we will open this using control click and then sign in. And you need to enter the one time code continue and authorize it. Yeah, congratulations, you are set. Let's close that. Now I can mark my task one as completed. So moving to task two, create the Git repository in GitHub. So first one we will create is this one and then the second one. So we create two repository. One is called the uh, Hello Cloud Build app, another one is Hello Cloud Build Environment. And then we will initialize the Hello Cloud Build app with some sample code. Let's change. Let's uh, create this directory first, the app first. Yep, using this, copy the file from the bucket to the directory here. Yep, I think I have to go into this folder first. And then modify the file. Yep, it's all done. Next, we will set up the project and then initialize it. Okay, so the task tree is we're going to uh, create a container image with the cloud build. Right, so make sure you are in that folder. And then commit to that. Okay, so Cloud Build submit. Cloud Build streams the log generated by the creation of the container image to your terminal when you execute the command. After the build is finished, in the Google title bar, you will go to the artifact registry. I can straight away go to the artifact registry now. So you can see that it's a, a registry called my repository. Click on that. You can see the Docker called Hello Cloud Build. Okay, with that I can mark my task tree as complete. Yep, it's done. Moving to task four. Now we're going to create the continuous integration CI pipeline. So we will type in trigger. Let's create a trigger. And the trigger name will be called Hello Cloud Build and the region set it to US East 4. So the event leave it as the default. The source here leave it as the default. 
and for the repository we will connect to the new repository choose the github and then click continue so click on authorize google cloud build and then from here you choose your github add then you say only selected repository and we will choose the app here and install yep, select the account and the github repository click ok and check mark the checkbox and click on connect then from here you select the app and the branch here you choose any branch and then choose your configuration using the cloud build and make sure this is the file name right and for the service account you will select the developer account and create go, <coughs> go back to the cloud shell and make sure you're in this folder and click on git add Git commit then get the push to the master and that's it now we can go back to the trigger and run this one right you can see the automatic they fill out the master branch for you and now you can run it go to the history and wait for this to turn green It's all good now. Okay, mark this task as completed. So moving to the task file that is accessing GitHub from a build wire SSH key. So go back to your cloud shell. Okay, uh, we need to create a new working folder called working directory and change to that working folder. And next one is we need to create a GitHub SSH key command. Make sure you replace this one with your uh, GitHub email address. So you can see the SSH key is created. And if I type in the DIR file, you will see there are two files inside. Now we will need to download the folder. So you can come over here, click on the download and choose the folder. This one and download. Yep, it's already downloaded. So it will download as a zip file, that's why you need to unzip it. Now we will create a new um, secret manager secret key. Go to the secret manager. And click on create a secret. And for the name is actually key secret and we will need to upload the ID GitHub file. This one is the file, click open. Right. Now leave the other setting as default and click on create secret. So this will upload your ID GitHub file to your secret manager. Now we need to go to your um, GitHub repository and then uh, refresh this screen and you should see there are two new repository created. Uh, this one. So we will go to the ENV settings and then the deploy key. So we will add a new deploy key. So I choose the SSH key and then you need to paste your SSH key here. So you, how do you get this key is you go to open the download the um, github files uh, id github.pub and then you open your notepad and copy the string and put it here. So you can select the checkbox and click add key. Now my key is added. 
go back to your cloud shell, we, we need to grant some service account to access the secret manager. Yep, it's done. Now I can mark. Yep, it's completed. Task 6, we are going to create the test environment and CD pipeline. So right now, we in the cloud shell, we execute the command here. And do some service account binding. Right. That is done now, we are going to make a new directory called hello build and copy some files to it and change to that folder and update the file as well so next for the cloud build to connect to the github you must add the public ssh key to the known host file in the cloud build environment in your cloud build environment directory you create a file name known host github and add the public ssh key to this file and provide the permission so i think it's clear now we can just uh, do the pushing the git add and then the git push yep that is also done it has been pushed to the master now We do a checkout to the production, so we are switching to the new production. And next, we will replace the cloud build YAML file available in the cloud build repository. So right now, we will go to the code editor, as for me, and then I go to open the folder. Click on this OK. So we go to open the cloud build YAML file. Delete that and replace with the new one. Right, make sure you have uh, changed to your username, the placeholder here. That's it. Now I close it. Now back to my command shell and type in git add. Then do the file commit. So the cloud build file describes the deployment process to be run in the cloud build. It has two steps. Cloud build apply the manifest to the GKE cluster. If successful, the cloud build copy the manifest to the production branch. So uh, next one is I'm going to do a checkout to the candidate branch and do the push to the production. And then another push to the candidate. So next one, we're going to create another trigger. So the trigger name is called Hello Cloud Build Deploy and choose US East 4 and you select the push to branch and from here you connect to the new source directory. Yep, that's the one. Click continue. From here you choose the edit repository github. Say only selected and this is the one save you select the env and click ok understand connect so you choose the env and for the branch okay so the branch is the candidate branch And then for the cloud build, you will select the cloud build configuration file. Make sure it's a cloud build YAML. And then set the service account to use the developer account and create. Now we will go back to the cloud shell. And then close this. Clear. In your Hello Cloud Build app, we create a file name called known host and add the public SSH key to this file to provide the necessary permission. Then do the git add again.
Yep, it's successful. Now we go back to the cloud shell. Yeah, make sure you are still there. And we will also configure the cloud build YAML file. Open your file editor. File open folder. Go to your app. Click OK. So I go to the cloud build YAML file, delete this and replace it. And make sure you have changed the to your username of the GitHub. And now once you've done that, close back to your command. Okay, so make sure you are still in that folder and we will git a do a git add cloud build YAML. Say we will want to trigger the C D pipeline and do a git push to the Google Master. So if I refresh here, then you should see another one is running. You can see the build inside. Yep, it's still running. This is successful. Yep, which is good. Now I can mark this as success. Yep. So if I go to the build dashboard, both should be showing successful. So you should see a build either running or recently finished for the Hello Cloud Build Environment repository like I showed you just now. Now in the test task 8, test the complete pipeline. So we will go to the gateway service. Uh, you type in Kubernetes and then choose on the gateway service ingress and click on the services. And there is one called Cloud Build here. If you click into it, you will able to see the endpoint if you click to open. It will open a new tab and show you the hello world message. That's correct. Now I go back to the cloud shell to proceed with further change. So we make sure you are still in the app folder. So what we do here is we're going to change hello world to hello cloud build for the app py file. And we do the same for the test app py file. And now these two files are chained and therefore we add git add and do a git commit. So after that we do a git push. Now if I go to the history, you should see some file is running. Let's click into it. Yep, the file is running. So this trigger the full CI CD pipeline. After a few minutes, if you reload the application, you should you should now see the Hello Cloud build. Yep, that's done. Go back. There's another one running. The candidate one, the candidate branch is running. And that is done. Now, if I now if I refresh this page, I should see it become Hello Cloud build. That is good. So in the task now, we're going to test the rollback. So we will go to the click on the view all, click on the second most recent build, which is this one, and we can try to retry rebuild. So we want to roll back to hello world. Yeah, it's running now. Yep, that's done. Now if I go back here, sorry, if I go back here, to see, yeah, it's successful. Now if I refresh this, you should see it changed back to hello world. Yep, so that's all about this lab. Thanks for watching. You can end the lab.